Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching something weird and different. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I fixed a problem in my Olive project using a text editor, and how you can do so too. So, um, my workflow is probably a bit unusual. I record multi-track audio from OBS. One track is the voice from two microphones, which is being processed and in mid-side processing and created a stereo image. Um, uh, I also record output of any DAW I'm using, like Ardor or other software that, you know, when I just make music. But I also record raw input from the microphones in case I need to do anything with them later, like, I don't know, something broke, my processing really did mess up the sound and I need to redo that. I have that raw audio captured in 32-bit float uh, so I can fix myself. Uh, so here's the video I'm editing for my main channel, uh, another video, and you can see there are two audio tracks. Actually, the third track, I think it didn't capture or I wasn't used. So one track is... Uh... Actually, I have no audio right now. Uh, this is... Okay, well... Uh, yeah, uh, that's good. Okay, now also, I'd like to root it so you can hear it. Uh, so, excuse me as I poke around with this. Hmm, that's the output flip and hack. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't have a monitoring of Pulse Audio. Okay, sorry. You won't be able to hear the sound, but that's not the point. You don't have to. So here on this track, there's music. I can hear it, you can't, never mind. On this second track, there's my voice. And I'm doing some weird stuff when I switch, uh, swap uh, source files to speed up my playback because I capture in such a high f uh, bitrate that Olive doesn't really keep up with processing that, so I have really slow playback. So, uh, for example, this is the main file, and I like do proxy encoding with lower quality, and then I just drag my file from the file folder, drop it onto here, and I get something like replace. Or you can just right click, replace, relink media, and you pick a new file, and all the clips that were using that file, sorry, we're go are going to use a new file, but all the other clip data is going to stay the same, which is very good because I can switch them, sw swap them in and out, and just, you know, edit with reduced file size, with reduced quality, but having snappier playback and being able to see what I'm doing better. Uh, and I can render using the original files. But sometimes when I do that, things break a bit. And here's a little one place where it broke. You see this part here, both tracks have silence on them. And what I did was I copied that. I've created a new sequence, called it temp. Oh, no, 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 no. Temp, let it be 60 frames per second, just like the master. And I'm going to place it here. Now, I thought, OK, I need to cut out the original files and, and replace them. So I'm going to move this forward and try to unveil what's the rest of this clip. So when I release it. I've reached the start, so now I could import the original clip, again, the main thing, drop it here, and you see this lines up. And I could just, uh, you know, cut the original file to size and then place it in with this track, audio track, not missing. But you can see why it's missing. You see, the both tracks are pointing to the same audio channel or audio stream. and. I thought, well, I should be able to fix this with a text editor. So what do I do? Well, the first thing is I need to be able to somehow identify this, this clip in my project. So let's open my master. And you can see here is my the region I need to find out. This one. Oh, you know what? I'm going to also bring this key display here so you can see what I'm pressing. So yeah, with Alt. You can select just one, not all linked. So this one is missing. Uh, it's assigned to this uh, audio stream, not this audio stream. And 
Uh, well, I could try and identify this by timing, but the problem is timing in the project file is probably not going to be denoted by seconds and minutes. So I've already did that, but uh, before I used, uh, no, not milliseconds. Uh, yeah. I don't know why this is drop frame. Okay, so I had time, time code. Hours, minutes, seconds, frames. All right. Uh, this is this is the drop frame. Okay, let's use the non-drop frame. Anyway, this doesn't matter. I need to know how to find this clip, uh, this one, in the text file. So I've opened this file. Let me open it again so I can do it from start. The project is called 07. This is the Olive project file. It's an XML document, of course. And what we have here, we have folders. So yeah, we have media. So this is what we have loaded. Um, sequences. Sequence ID 1. This is template sequence. So this is this sequence right here. But I need the master sequence. So what I'm going to do is going to Control F master. Oh, I found it. Sequence ID 2, name master. So that's the sequence I need to be in. So our clip is going to be somewhere below. Now let's see. Do you, there are clips. Clip ID 5. It's enabled, yes. The name of the clip, all right. Clip in. So this is the frame that it's uh, it's starting playback from from the from the um, resource. In is is where it starts in the timeline, and this is in frames. So you can see if I check what what frame this clip starts at, I should be able to find it in that file and correct something. So let's change the view to frames, and now you can see we have frames here displayed and displayed here. This is the length, and I can move this, and you can see we have frame 3283. Is that right? Yeah, 3283. Okay, let's go here and search for frame 3283. Uh, oh, sorry, I think I'm... Okay. Uh, let's maybe start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning and just go again. Three, two, eight, three. Um, didn't find anything. Wait a minute, I did this just before and it did work, so. Oh, this didn't refresh? Yeah, it didn't refresh, okay. So the frame is 3302. That's what we need to do. 3302, 3302. And we got frame 3302. The name is main.mkv, that's good because that's the file we're sourcing. And this is uh, R, G, and B are the color of, this, of the strip displayed here, which is bluish. So the G value is the highest one, so it's going to be blue, but all of them are blue, so that color doesn't discriminate it. Media 4, this is identifying which uh, file, source file is used, and stream is 1. Okay. Um, dang, where should I put this? Let's put it here. Mm, stream equals one. Now, this is clip ID 22, clip ID 23, okay. Let's see if it starts at the same frame. Uh, oh, this is out 3302. So this is the clip that ends at frame 3302. We need the clip that starts at frame 3302. Let's find the next one. Uh, we need the clip that starts out. Okay, this is, and it ends in 3302, it starts. This clip starts stream one, okay, below. And we have, you see we have uh, Kate, which is the text editor, KDE text editor, conveniently over, hi highlights the same occurrences of the selection. So we can see we have three clips that start at the same time, no more. Actually, we have four, yeah, four. And let's see what we have in the project. We have four. Run two, three, four. Yeah, that that that's it. So now we need to find which are audio and which are video. So this is stream one, stream one. These are the same. And this is stream zero, and this is also stream zero. I think stream zero is gonna be the video stream. Uh, also, this is on track negative three. This is on track negative two. 
I think negative tracks are the upper ones. So negative one, negative two, negative three, and this is one and two. Or maybe this is track zero and this is track one. Let's see how it looks in the text editor. So this is stream zero, zero, that's the video, stream one and stream one, that's the audio. Now let's see what trick is, track is this. Track zero, okay, so this is the first audio track, track one is the second audio track. So we need to change this stream to the second stream of the, of the file. Actually, it's the third stream because we have st stream zero, which is the video stream, stream one, which is the first audio stream, which is the music, stream two, which is the um, second audio stream. So now I change this from one to two. Let's save this file. I'm going to save it as 07C because I've already done this. And now let's reload our project. Open project. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna just copy and paste the path. 07C. No, I don't want to save the changes. And let's see if that works. And it does. You see, this is the same clip. And we have our audio back. Ta da! <laughs> okay. <sighs> I hope you learned something. I'm waiting for the big olive uh, improvement. See you later. Bye.